Hmm, okay. Now comes an interesting part. So now we will be understanding about all the types of VLANs that work uh, work inside the ACA fabric for a uh, packet to travel inside. We will also understand the purpose of each of these VLANs. So first comes the VLAN and cap. Uh, this is also called the encapsulation VLAN which is uh, visible to the ACI user and this is basically the VLAN which is uh, the 802.1Q tacking VLAN uh, between the ACI leaf and the endpoint or the end host. Uh, this could be trunk or access VLAN. The VLAN ID. VLAN ID this is the uh, platform independent VLAN which is assigned by the ACI leaf and is locally significant. This VLAN, VLAN ID would be unique in the fabric and there would be a different VLAN ID for every bridge domain or infrastructure VLAN or APG VLAN or in that case fabric domain VLAN. Now comes the hardware VLAN. Now most switches, uh, this specifically in uh, ACI leaf switches, the uh, they comprise of a Broadcom ASIC. That is uh, that is used when uh, traffic is meant to be locally switched. This hardware VLAN is utilized by the Broadcom ASIC chip. To understand better, uh, I'll, I'll show you the the command line and then show you how these VLANs are uh, mapped to each other to have a, uh, a unique relationship to form the end-to-end -end tunnel. Now this picture shows the VLAN IDs and their active ports. These are the VLANs, uh, their names and what, what ports they are on. Uh, this is the platform independent VLAN. The VLAN per, per North Star and this North Star is uh, uh, it's, it's the higher level of ASIC inside the leaf. First comes the Broadcom ASIC in a leaf which locally switches the data, uh, traffic and if the data destination is uh, to another leaf then it goes from Broadcom ASIC to North Star. So this VLAN is per North Star that means again for each North Star in a leaf. So this command shows system internal ELTMC info VLAN brief uh, it shows the platform independent VLANs, the platform independent VLANs and their uh, correlation with the hardware VLANs. When these two are the combination of these two, it's a unique along with this VXLAN ID. This complete com uh, uh, combination is unique in the complete fabric using which any traffic is judged from which interface of the of which leaf the traffic has come from uh, this is the vlan uh, the show vlan extended command which is uh, very handy in understanding the relationship between the uh, the ncap vlan the vxlan and the platform independent vlan so what basically it's showing is this uh, 
the first column this is the platform independent, uh, independent VLAN which is the same as of uh, here in the first column and uh, in the show VLAN extended it shows that platform independent VLAN 7 is a combination of this VL VXLAN plus v, uh, this access VLAN this 3800 VLAN this is the one which would be configured on your end servers or end host on the same table we are seeing the same data 7 the corresponding if NCAP VLAN is 3800 their unique VXLAN number would be this so they are two different commands in two different shapes uh, to give a similar data that's all about the all the VLANs that uh, are used inside the ACF fabric to make an uh, end to end tunnel of the traffic now there is this uh, one more uh, command which we can uh, see for in case of any troubleshooting is required it also gives uh, basically the additional field here is the type of this VLAN what their uh, what this uh, platform independent VLAN is of like here we can see uh, the 7 it it's belongs to a bridge domain for a tenant uh, it, it uh, the VLAN 8 is for fabric domain VLAN so like this you will, will better understand all these terms uh, by the end of the ACI course